Hello, and I'm, I'm going to show you a video of how to cr use Canvas Chrome app to create a layered self portrait. So you're going to come back to this home screen and you're going to create not just a new drawing, but a new from image. You're going to choose a self portrait or a picture of a person starting from the image. I'm going to use a picture of singer Janelle Monet just as the demonstration. So here's Janelle Monet. You can make it bigger or smaller depending on how you want to um, draw on top of it. You'll see that it has layers here in the upper right corner. And the first layer is the background. That's the picture that we uploaded. And now the first layer that you're going to draw on is going to basically be on top of that. So it's going to be a layer that we can add lines onto. So choose your tools on the left hand side in the toolbar and I'm going to use a pen and I can change the color and the size and the opacity. The opacity is if you want it a slightly transparent or really dark. So if you want it to really cover everything up you'll make it really dark and if you want it just to kind of be a shadow you would pull it all the way down to the bottom but I'm going to make sure it's nice and dark. I'm going to just use um, black to show you today, but you can choose any size or color to draw over your own self portrait. So on this first layer, you might choose to draw not only the outline of your head and your face, or you might choose something else. Um, if you make a mistake, you can always go over here and erase the lines that you don't like. Sometimes it can be hard to draw on a computer screen, so you might end up using your eraser. And this is also where the layers come in handy. That's a much better line. Now it does not have to be perfect. This is just to show you how using layers works. So I might go back through and show some more detail by taking my time. Now, if you feel like you're gonna make mistakes, like we all do, you might want to create more than one layer. So here I have the outline of her face, the outline of her head, but I haven't really added any details. I'm gonna show you how to check your progress. In the corner here, in layers, we can click on the eyeball and make the background layer invisible. This is your drawing so far. So far, so good. However, I can't trace it unless I can see it. So I have my first layer, which is the outline of her head. I'm going to add another layer with this plus sign here in the corner. On this other layer, I'm gonna add her face. So by choosing that, I'm drawing on a separate layer. I can choose the size of the lines. I can choose the color. And if I make a mistake, I won't be worried to erase something else. Let's say I didn't want this line here next to the eye, but you can see it's not erasing the outline of the head because we're on the separate layer. So that's a nice trick. So if you accidentally make a mistake, you won't erase the work that you already like. You might want lots of layers. You might only want a few. It's up to you. I'm just going to use a black outline for this tutorial, but like I said, feel free to add as many details with color and line type as you want. So let's see. I want to see how that looks. So I'm going to click up here and make that background invisible. And those eyes look pretty good. Like I said, it does not need to be perfect. If we wanted it perfect, we just need to take photographs. And part of this is just experimenting.
So we're drawing over the lines that kind of exist on the face. As you're drawing, remember, you can add more layers and you can erase. There is no undo button, but the eraser tool is pretty easy to work, use and you can change the size of the eraser too if you need to get into a tight space. Let's see, I didn't want to erase all that. I can make that tool a little bit smaller. And you can change, again, the size. Zoom out and zoom in to get close detail. Now that is much better. So I have, if I, I have her face on one layer, I have the outline of her head on another layer, and I have the background on a separate layer. So I can keep adding detail like I want here, color, or I can add a separate background. So let's say I want to add a background color. I'm gonna add another layer, but I can always rearrange where it is. So I'm gonna add this layer here. I'm gonna get maybe the marker tool, or maybe I want some more texture. Let's see how this looks. I want a different color. Janelle Monae is very bright and colorful, so let's maybe get a pink color here. I get a nice bright pink. And with this, I want a nice big shape. And I want it to be opaque. So now I can go back. Oh, whoopsies. Accidentally dragging. So I can go back and forth across the back. That kind of creates this chalk color, kind of creates a really cool texture. And I like that. And this is just going to be the background. Right now it just looks like I'm coloring over it because it's the layer that's on top. But with this program I can reorder and move around the layers so that this one is in the very back. Since I'm not keeping the photograph in the picture, I can just turn that one invisible and reorder everything. Here, I'll show you right now. I can make the background picture invisible and I can click and drag this behind it. Now you'll see in the background there is these checker marks, these gray and white checkers. Those are just showing what's going to be invisible when it is shared. So if this is how you want your picture to look when you're finished, mine is pretty simple, but it totally works. We can save it as an image and it will download to your, uh, it should download to your saved file. Or you can go back to your home screen and it should show your picture and you can use your more options, save as image, you can duplicate it and change it, add more things there. All right, hope that helps. Happy creating.